Hello people from 23MC, I'm Fox and today I am here on a creative plot server to show you some bibs and bobs and how to build etc. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how I do walls since I'm gonna do the castle walls for the uh, Alpha Craft server anyway I'm gonna show you how I kinda do it and what I've set up. Alright, so we get out of uh, this model, thank you. I uh, to test real quick, I'm on a server called Creative Fun by the way, if you want the uh, link it's going to be in the description. Uh, this is going to be my wand, because this server has, uh, has rolled at it, so I can just uh, copy paste everything. I'm going to get some uh, spruce logs, some bricks, uh, some brick stairs. I'm going to get uh, some brick slabs, uh, I need some uh, regular like, spruce planks, thank you, and I'm going to need some cobblestone. Cobblestone! I missed it probably like four times. <laughs> so, there we go. So first thing is we're going to define the wall width. So I'm gonna start off with a five and a three. So with a three wide wall, what the thing is you can do is if you uh, place stone bricks on here, add slabs there, stone brick there, stone brick there, place it there, place it there. Then what you can do is fill these back ones up, so you get a layer. So you got one, layer 1, layer 2, layer 3. You can even go even crazier with adding another layer in front of here. Like for example adding like a slab or something. But for now this is going to be practical. And we're going to use three layers so it can be easy. Uh, we're going to use a cobblestone stairs inside. So what you can see we're using cobblestone, wood, stone brick, cobblestone and wood again. Uh, we're going to go up one. And then that's, I'm gonna leave it there with cobblestone because cobblestone gets kind of heavy in a build, especially in this back pack. Gonna place some stairs here. You can even switch it up and be, uh, be cool and use some like leaves. Actually, I'll keep this in. Uh, <coughs> so I'm gonna make this like uh, about this high, so that's gonna be one, two, one. I can't even see it with the texture back on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm gonna use cobblestone as a trim again. So let me switch back to a stair. Two ups and down stair okay, uh, stairs. Fill that in. And then what you can do is come back up here with a inside stair, inside stair. Finish that up. Then this. So now you can do a few things for this. I'll show you like two examples if I copy this real quick. Copy. And then this down here real quick. So I can just use paste. And voila. So you're gonna uh, be able to do a few things. By the way, this is looks really nice together. Let me get rid of my stuff. First of all, if I can find some glass, you can either fill with iron bars. Why are you acting weird? Maybe it's the world edit on this server. You can either fill with iron bars or glass. Okay. This server is definitely weird. That's odd. You can either fill it with bars or glass, or what you can do is use a light source, like for example glowstone. Glowstone, there you go. And if you grab something like a stone brick slab, you can add a light source in here. For example, like this. Or what you can do is add a stair there. 
and he has the glowstone there or you can actually switch it up and use a stone brick stair that's what I should do and you could grab something like a spruce trap door oh wait server is outdated so they don't have spruce trap doors oak trap door and use it like that so it's slightly sealed off and it still will give off light so you can do it like that or that I'll uh, keep it like this for this one. So what we're going to do is add an inside stair, inside stair, inside stair, inside stair. Then we're going to grab a cobblestone slab. We're going to add two of them up here. One there, one there, one there, 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 and there. You can do this or you can either switch it up and use a different material for this uh, I'm actually gonna switch it up real quick and use stone slabs because that looks pretty so this, this and this so if you take that if I copy it and this time copy it at a better place. So I just copy. Just paste. And do another paste. You can make something cool like that. I can even go a step further. And I will go stand here. And paste it like that. And uh, no, that's not how I wanted it. Let me uh, recopy this because that was a bit silly of me. Copy it all the way there. Copy. I'm just using copy and paste to make it this easier. By the way, you have to, if you want to make this, you kind of have to build it in either survival or creative depends on what server you're on so you can make even higher walls this looks really awesome by the way and then for example you can just random it up Use that. so how would you go about making this less boring well we're gonna use leaves for that leaves you can just spiral around like this, just make it come together at the top and then you can have like one hanging from here or you can go even lower uh, like a leaf can have multiple vines hanging from it this is all stuff you can do in creative by the way Something else that would make it less boring is adding fences and torches. So for example, fence there, torch up there, fence here, fence here, there, fence, there, fence, there, fence, there, there, what, hello, hello, can you get on, thank you, fence there, fence there, you can even combine them. This, for example, you can even put up a torch there. You can even make a double fence if you want. You can combine them like that, or you can leave it like that. It's however you want. So, how would we go about making a five or a seven wide wall in for this example? They're going to use the same strategy, but yes, but. We're gonna mix it up a bit and we're gonna have to make it bigger. So what I like to do is either make a really fat base and make that one lower so you can do this. Just uh, mimic it real quick. Use it like that, like that, and that. You can make it real big. We're gonna make this one higher, by the way, so that looks so it looks way better. 
and what you're going to use for the inside here is probably some dark kind of plank. Because darker planks look better on bigger surfaces. That's at least how I feel like. For example, you can use this one as a little big window. I'm going to use a regular glass box right now. Uh, you can add cobblestone like this to make it really bulky, to make it really stand out. For example, like a tower, base of a tower. Uh, you can use stairs to make it interesting. For example, like this. And then make sure you use the trim that you used on the lower levels. Uh, there too. What I did is just using that lower one and then upside down. Uh, if you want to go about making this a bit fancier per se, you can use some fences as well. Uh, I recommend using some slabs and stone walls, cobblestone walls and doing this so you're making it one entirety and you can use some random slabs to make it more interesting to seem like it is uh, being a, a bit random as they can say so you can use this like this I'll show you how it looks side by side with a couple of walls and for some reason I tapped out of the game so wand. We're gonna need a second copy point. That's not what I intended. And then for example we can send here copy. Paste. Paste. Then you have multiple walls going alongside. This one could be used for either a cathedral or something else. What you could do as well is if I make this an entirety uh, so let's just fill stone brick oh wait, uh, replace air stone brick there we go and then if we go stand Right about here. I think this is the correct height. Click paste. Ah, uh, we want too low. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, no. That's not the undo I wanted to do. Oh, well. There. And there. Uh, I could have. I've been out of. <laughs> Build that eating for a while. Not pate, paste, thank you. Paste, and I think one more would fit. You could do something like this. So I have the lower wall and then a upper wall. You can even make it a bit cooler by doing um, this. Then I make that set across and then if you want to do these you just put like leaves down just cover up the stone put some leaf down make it a bit fancy and then you could use bone meal for example to fill that up bone meal Thank you very much. Just spam it a bit. And then you have a lovely little front porch. So you could do build this up in layers, 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 etc. If you want to see how I make regular walls, you, I will link a video down in the description that me and Kenny did a while back. It was a broad edit building where we made like uh, a canyon and then we made a plateau, we built like a small house and a farm on it. 
upper plateau had a a city and a plateau upper that wasn't unfortunately wasn't finished yet but and I can't finish it either since the server that I played it on was shut down. Oh well. It's still some uh good uh what was the word I'm looking for? Some uh, good inspiration to at least look at it. Uh if you want to light this up as well, you could as well grab some glowstone. Go back to the trapdoor. And this is how you would spice something up like this. You know, having some extra light is always handy. You can always randomly place some trap dolls. That's why I like to do a lot. Especially in this texture pack. Like there, 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 there. You can just mix everything up. So it looks a bit random. Voila. Well, uh, there's something else you could actually do. Uh, that is. Can you get out of my inventory, please? Thank you very much. Make it a bit Halloween y. So, how would you go about making something Halloween? Since Halloween is coming up, you're going to need cobwebs, jack o' lanterns. And some more creepy stuff. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a texture pack infested stone brick. Totally forgot that. How would you make something... Creepy? So, of course, cobweb, jack-o'-lanterns, uh... High grass would always help. But if you place the cobweb... With, uh... Trapdolls for this example... It would look really deserted. I have another trick to make stuff look deserted as well. Uh, like that. And you could use your jack o' lanterns here. You could really sneaky play. If this works, works. Oh, you didn't see that. That was a bit like. If you. This, for example, your house. The window of your house. Just place a jack o' lantern inside. People are gonna have a, like, a little jiggle. You're gonna see a flying jack o' lantern or something. It's gonna be really funny. But another trick I have with scaring up someone's house is using the same kind of wood as for example in here and all actually in this case stone brick slabs would really help and then making it kind of off limits like this so that it would almost make it seem as the windows are blinded. Something else you could do with this, if I grab the stairs again that I used, is instead of the slabs, you're going to use signs. If I can find signs, those are there. Makes your house look like abandoned or you know closed down. I think even brown banners would work. Two not no, let's try it. <laughs> it would work. I I feel like the signs look the best on this one. So that was kinda it for this wall decoration building tutorial. If you want to see anything else, for example, how I built the Alpha Craft House, please comment that down in the comments. Uh, if you want to see anything else build, please tell me and I'll do it for you. These builds and these videos are pretty quick to do, so I can probably release about three a week. The only thing I need of you guys is a bit of support and uh, you know, smash that like button and just uh, tell me how you guys loved it. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.